question is from Liz Reads. How do you incorporate focus sessions with a full body workout? Okay, so let's explain what focus sessions uh, are. Now, focus sessions are something that we put into one of our more popular programs, MAPS Aesthetic. Uh, this is a concept. It's a, it's a way to increase the frequency of training for a body part. And it was one that Adam used quite a bit uh, when he was went from his fat to fit transformation um, in order to become an IFBB pro uh, physique competitor. So first off, full body workout. Full body workout, typically you go to the gym two or three days a week and you hit the entire body with a relatively high amount of intensity with weights. Now on the days in between, so let's say you go three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, full body. Tuesday and Thursday, you go into the gym, you pick the body part, uh, one body part that you feel is lagging that you would like to place special emphasis on, and you hit that body part with a lower level of intensity, doing mostly isolation work, and this is where you can use lots of machines. So if it's like chest for you, for example, you know Monday, Wednesday, Friday is the heavy hard chest workouts. Tuesday, Thursday, I'm doing cable flies, I'm doing pec deck, I'm squeezing, I'm stretching, I'm hammer, getting a pump. Hammer strength machine. Hammer strength machine, stuff like that. That's yeah. basically it. I mean, this is exactly how we wrote uh, MAPS Aesthetic. Mm -hmm. It's it's a three-day-a-week, full-body routine, exactly what Sal said. We give you the option uh, for focus days to focus on one or two muscles. Uh, so, you know, you can buy and tries or glutes and hamstrings or glutes and quads, whatever. Uh, and then we, we show you how to build that program. So we program it uh, loosely. With the full body workouts, that's what stays the same. But what's customizable for each person is you decide what muscle groups you want to do. And it's exactly what how I used to prepare for each show. So I'd do a show. I'd assess my physique. I'd get feedback from judges, friends, whatever that said, hey, awesome, Adam. Your chest looked good this, this showing. You, you could work on your, your front delts a little bit and your hamstrings are weak, whatever. And then I'd go to the drawing board and I would build in these focus sessions around these full body routines. So it's how the, bro the program is designed. The, I think the one mistake I see some people doing with with focus sessions is and it's uh, you know I I was guilty of this uh, when I was younger and that's just like hammering the muscle thinking that the harder you hit it yeah no. uh, the more results you get if if you're following the the three day a week full body routine you're already getting pretty a pretty loud signal to that muscle all we're trying to do is increase fr frequency a little bit of volume and like hypertrophy so you're really just kind of chasing a pump you're not trying to like Go to. You're definitely not trying to go to failure on focus days. You should not be going to failure at all. You should be at least two two reps. You should be doing mostly isolation type exercises. This is where we do recommend cables and machines more often. Uh, I wouldn't really do any free weights unless it's like a real basic. Have you seen curl. people use like these sessions with too much volume where they're doing too long of a workout? Oh yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. They overdo it. I mean, there's a right dose. There's right. a perfect dose of of in total intensity, frequency, and volume. And with focus sessions, what you're trying to do is you're trying to add volume, add blood flow, but you're trying to dance around the intensity a little bit. You don't want to overdo the intensity because you're already close to that limit. Hitting your body three days a week, full body. For most people, you're getting close. You're either at the limit or you're getting close. Mm -hmm. You throw in a focus session with too much intensity, you've overdone it, and you'll actually regress. You will That target body part that you're working on will actually go backwards. So you just want to go in. And this is why machines, bands, cables, and isolation exercises yeah, are good. they make the most sense. Because they're not intense. They don't cause a lot of, of muscle damage. Maybe, you know, again, maybe Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for my chest, I'm doing incline barbell press and a flat bench press and incline dumbbell chest press. And then Tuesday and Thursday, I'm doing a cable fly. I'm doing a, a machine press and I'm going light, but really focusing on the squeeze and getting a pump. Yes, fin press, all these. Yes, exactly. Those sculpting, shaping exercises that, you know, on their own don't have tons of value, but in a focus session, or brilliant. And, we're, brilliant. and we're taking into consideration your CNS in that programming, right? We're thinking that if this person is following our routine that we've designed in full body three days a week, you're hitting quite a bit of you know compound lifts and your CNS is getting a lot of work that week. So we don't want to do a ton of that on in these focus days. Again, I'm just chasing kind of the pump. Uh, it's like it's like just a little bit elevated version of trigger sessions, I would say. Totally.